channel today i'm going to be um opening up my march ipsy bag it came my mail literally like two hours ago so i thought i would just hop on here and kind of film this and get this up as soon as possible so if you guys don't know what ipsy is i say this in every video it is a monthly subscription box um that comes and it provides you with some samples or full-size products of um makeup and usually it's not full size, but yeah, mostly it's just regular products. But yeah, so you get it every single month. It's $10 a month and I meant to cancel it, but then it came in my mail. So now I have it, which is fine. So let's get into it. The little bag is it, cute. It's like metallic with like a little navy blue or royal blue zipper with a little um, Ipsy star on the zipper. And it says, and off she went to change the world. Cute. So the first thing I always grab is this little pamphlet. It talks about how it's National Women's History Month. Um, so all the products in here this month are female founded brands and girl boss staples it says. So that's kind of cool like female brands that's really cool and then on the inside it says all the products and then on the back it says that you can go buy products like on their website or stuff like that. So let's get into it. The first thing I see is this Lottie London Shimmer Squad. Um, it's probably a highlighter yeah let's see it's a single uh, highlighter it looks like this and I like single highlighters but at the same time I never know where to put them because I don't have a Z palette or anything like that so I guess I just kind of they kind of hang out in my drawer but this is what it looks like it's in the shade um, the good girl maybe I don't know if that's a shade or not but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I did swatch it before, so don't mind that. It's really pretty. Really metallic, but I feel like it can be kind of bit... It's really metallic, but I feel like it can be natural at the same time. Um, it's a lot lighter than I thought. I thought it would be kind of dark. It looks like a darker highlighter, but this might work for me right now. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. And I'm going to have the price of all of these products in like the bottom corner like down here um or here i'm not really sure but so you guys know how much you'd be paying if you paid full price for these items the next thing i see is a brush yes i love getting brushes it's my favorite thing to get it is a um what is it royal and lang nickel moda pro precision angle brush and i've heard of this brand because of juicy jazz uh if you guys know don't know who she is you need to check her out she's amazing she's from pa go pa um beautiful handle has a really nice material and then an angled fluffy brush very nice bristles very very soft um i am so excited about this and i will be using this all the time next product i see is a space case cosmetics it looks like a little eyeshadow the packaging is so cute um let's open this up so it's a single eyeshadow this looks like the ColourPop ones like the um like the packaging of it like it looks just like ColourPop. um it's in the shade messy look nessie i don't really can you guys even read that no i'll put it down at the bottom it's this beautiful green shade so let's oh my god it's so soft That's so, so pretty. So, yeah, that's kind of exciting. Um, don't really use green often, but you know St. Patrick's Day is this weekend, so I am going to be slapping this all over my eye, and I'm so excited to do that. The next product I see is a Ciate London Lip Lustre, L-U-S-T-R-E, in the shade Wildfire. This is a mini little version, but it's really, really pretty. I've had a Ciate London um, lip product before. But I'm going to apply this. This is a really pretty like pink red shade and it looks very very shimmery but it looks like a really light gloss so it might turn out not as bright as it looks in the packaging. Yeah, this is actually really pretty. It's not as fluorescent as it looks. This is actually like super natural. That's so pretty, but that, no, I'm living for that. I actually like that more than I thought I was going to like it. So yeah, that is so pretty. And there's one last product in here. It's the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Fining Face Mask. I actually have the same thing 
from another one of my boxes. I don't know if it was Ipsy or Box Charm or Sephora Play or something like that. But I haven't tried it yet. But this is supposed to obviously fix your pores. So yeah, that is everything in this March Ipsy bag. Sorry, it's just like a really short video, but I like to kind of just go through them really fast. I don't need to drag it on or anything. But yeah, um, I this is a better one than I've received. Um, this is probably my last one, and I'm for real this time. So yeah, if you guys got anything different in your Ipsy bag, which I don't think you probably did, but if you did, let me know. And if I don't see you guys before then, I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day, and please be safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.